Daddy, I want to ask, uh, in the aspect of marriage, like if you want to get married, now they say pray that God should direct you to the right person. And the Bible says that he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtain favor from God. So why is it that? It doesn't con that scripture does not concern single people. <laughs> it didn't say that findeth a girl that will be a wife. It said that findeth a wife. That scripture is for married people, actually. Okay. But people don't understand. It's for those who are married. If you are not married, it's not your business. He that findeth a wife, not he that findeth who wants to be a wife. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Did that destabilize you? <laughs> okay, why is it that we need, we need God to choose for us? Meanwhile, God said we should bring and he will bless. No, God didn't say you should bring gold. The only, thing, the only thing that you should bring and God will bless is offering. He said he, he will bless it that you should find it. Let right. me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain to you. God gives you wisdom. What I'm doing now is I'm being used by God to impart wisdom. So your mindset is changing to finding the right person. That is what God is doing. It's not as though God will tell you, stand up. Go left. Go right. That's not God directs you. God begins to direct you from the teachings you are hearing. From the things you are getting to know. Like I told us, when you are with somebody and you lose your peace, God is not involved. All of those information you are getting is the direction of God. From the teachings, from the teachings of scripture, you are getting divine direction. That's the direction God gives you. The information, the knowledge that God helps you to meet in the right person. And the, actually, the best thing to do is to totally depend on God. That is why when Adam was to get Eve, God made Adam sleep. Because your human knowledge cannot give you the right person. It takes the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and the revelation of God to get the right person. Are you following what I'm saying? So just depend on God. By these informations and revelations you are hearing, all of these teachings you are hearing are, is remodeling your mind into getting the right person. So it's not a voice of go left, go right, go not. That is the person. That's not how God works. Okay? Not, who's number two? Are you sure? All right, all right. That's a powerful answer from Apostle Johnson. Okay. Suleiman to the lady who asked the question. You know, this is one aspect of question that, uh, that needs to be answered over and over again as many singles are actually confused many singles don't even know where to go to i don't know how some people are coming up with questions and then these questions are actually bringing some level of confusion to their mindset and um, the way apostle john suleiman answered this question here really settled a lot of things a lot of things and basically probably if apostle suleiman's word is too big to be understood or maybe in one way or the other you don't understand what apostle said what papa was saying here is that the process of finding is beyond what our human knowledge can navigate our thinking faculty the way we think sometimes it's not the way everyone thinks it is quite difficult to understand the place and the mind of God for us with our own level of reasoning. How God think is not the same with how we think. Our thinking, our thinking is different. So on head, it is difficult sometimes to, to understand the mind of God until we have the mind of God. You know, in the book of Philippians 2, Jesus, it was said that, let this mind be in you. Like, it was said about Jesus, like, let this mind be in you. Like, the mind of Jesus, let it be in you. For me to operate in your mind, for me to operate the way you are thinking, definitely I need to have your own level of reasoning. That is why for any organization to employ you, to give you a job. The moment they give you the job, irrespective of your certificate, irrespective of your first degree, irrespective of your be, even being a first class student, that organization will still put you through how things work in their own company. 
They want to show you the way things are going. They need you to understand. They wanted to take off the mind of the schools and things that were being taught. You understand about the schools and the course you study. And say, so, okay, now you are now here. You're going to be working for us for the next 15, 20 years. So you need to understand what we're talking about. This is not, you're not working just for three months. Like you see, you can see, you should limit you. You're working for all, with us here for a long time. You're going to be working for the next 10, 15, 20 years. So you need to understand how will things work here. The same thing with marriage. We need to understand how things work. So for us to actually get the mind of God, I say the mind of God, the longevity about marriage that he has for us, that we need to understand his mind. So it is not by our mind, but by the inspiration of the Almighty, by the inspiration of the Spirit of God. That is how you can even navigate or discover who is for you and even operate in this marriage thing we're talking about, even to operate inside it. Or yes. We're going to get it wrong. Thank you so much, Papa, for this wonderful teaching and the way you answer the question. I believe that this generation is blessed already with this kind of answers. And I believe as many people that see this video are going to be blessed. Thank you so much, guys, for being on this channel again today, The Tribe TV. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please kindly do. And if you have subscribed, you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.